For more on this, let's bring in Aaron Cohen. He is an Israeli special operations veteran. So the drones are on their way from Iran. Apparently, some have already been engaged, possibly or maybe probably shot down. We don't know of anything striking Israeli territory yet. Uh, just give us your assessment of this very brazen attack by Iran. Well, John, my, uh, my immediate instinctual response as Iran is uh, officially declared war on Israel. Uh, I can tell you that's a big mistake. Uh, Israel not only has a, a lot of warming up in the last six months uh, 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 in recent operations in Gaza, uh, very intense fighting there, uh, very intense uh, air campaign. Uh, Israel's eradicated almost 15,000 terrorists uh, within six months. The IDF is highly motivated. They took a little what we call schnatz or combat rest pulling out of Gaza. Uh, if I had to uh, venture to guess right now, I would say that Israel's got several special operations assets that are in Iran at this time right now, John. And what they're doing is, is they're looking, uh, they're creeping, they're snooping. That's what these intelligent, uh, intelligence commando-style units do, Sheldag, Maglan. And Israel uh, actually lives, John, uh, as two major pieces for the Israeli uh, for the Israeli survival. First thing is that actionable intelligence. So Israel right now is te is, is is having a good look. They've got a multi-layered uh, uh, air defense system between the Spider, uh, the Barak system, uh, obviously the Iron Dome, which we've seen as the all stars of uh, of the last Gaza Gaza campaign. Uh, also in southern Lebanon, the attacks coming from Hezbollah. But I think at this point Israel's had enough, and I wouldn't be surprised. If Israel uh, uh, full out initiates some type of preemptive response that will uh, directly attack those missile batteries and those drone launch points, which, if I had to uh, venture, are coming out of the southwestern region of Iran. Again, Iran made a big mistake. Israel has a ton of intelligence uh, on Iran. And, uh, you know, to the Iranian leaders, you know, I say, Behet Dasrosi Dorim. Like they say in Farsi, which is not only is Soleimani within our reach, but every one of these military leaders is within Israel's reach. Every one of those missile and drone launch points uh, uh, could potentially get obliterated uh, uh, in due time. And Israel will move when it feels it needs to and when it feels it's ready. They need to be careful because we've got multiple attackers about to uh, square up on Israel. But, John, it's not Israel's first rodeo. We saw it in 67, Syria, Egypt, Lebanon. Also had over 50 uh, uh, Scud missiles coming from Iraq at the beginning of the Gulf War. Israel's got a lot of experience in, uh, in dealing with attacks from multiple countries. And this is just going to be another dust up with Iran. And Israel is going to, uh, I think Israel's going to put Iran in its place very soon, if I had to guess. We have just about a minute left. But do you don't think then that Israel is in any way overwhelmed or overmatched. The, the feeling is that maybe the Iranians thought that Israel has been um, weakened, perhaps, by the attacks from its proxies. You don't think that's the case at all? No, John, I remember having conversations with the media on October 8th, and everybody thought Israel was going to get wiped off the map. John, didn't happen in 48, didn't happen in 56 in the Mitla Pass, didn't happen in 67, didn't happen in 73, and after 20 years of fighting in the southern border of Lebanon, Israel uh, still didn't get wiped off the map. After that attack on October 7th, which killed 1,200 civilians, beheaded babies, raped women, kidnapped 150-plus hostages, who uh, uh, were still in those tunnels, uh, Israel's still around. Israel is an incredibly well-oiled and intelligent machine that focuses on actionable intelligence. Their Mossad is one of the finest institutions in the world, regardless of the mistake that was made on October 7th. Golda Meir said it best, we can't protect every inch of the fence. Mistakes are going to happen. But Iran's posturing. They're, they're making a mistake. Uh, the fact is, the Iranian people, like your last guest, the general said, uh, the Iranian people don't support the regime. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, everyone is, is, is very much uh, 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 in line in the region to see this Islamic regime get toppled. And if Israel is going to be the one to do it, then so be it. But Israel is not in harm's way. There will be repercussions. Uh, uh, projectiles will fall into Israel. But Israelis, it's a warrior culture. Israel's going to be fine, and it's time for Israel to put on their war face again and get into uh, a tactical mode, which is what they're doing. Aaron Cohen, a veteran of the Israeli Special Operations Forces, thank you. Thank you, John. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.